Hello boys and girls, this is Electronic Pro Seller from the iBoot team and today I'm going to show you how to set up your new R-Box. So this is the new R-Box from Rockminer. It's a 100 to 110 giga hash machine. The one we tested earlier actually clocked in at 130 giga hashes. So I'm pretty happy and I'm really excited to test this one now for all of you and show you how to set it up. So it's really nice. As you can see, it's a completely different design. This was the old R box. It was 32 to 36 giga hashes. Had one fan. Nice little heat sink. Now this is the new R box. Two fans, make sure it runs completely cool. It's very quiet. Um, it's really sexy. Has uh, two dual heat sinks in there. Really nice. Really good airflow. Um, at the top here, we can see that there is um, a power light and a status light. So when it, it's actually hashing, the status light starts flashing blue. Uh, it takes a mini USB and it uses 12 volts, 6 pin PCI cable. So actually it requires a 6 pin PCI cable, uh, 12 volts and 150 watts. So today I'm just going to use uh, my ATX power supply here. As you can see it has a 6 pin uh, cable on it already. And actually I use this uh, ATX power supply to uh, power my USB hub. Here we got a 49 port USB hub. Um, but because you know this the Rockminer new R box only uses um, very little power, only 150 watts. So actually I can power the hub and my miner as well. And even more miners off, all off the one power supply. So it's really great. So just plug that in here first. There you go, it comes on straight away. Um, it's not very noisy. It's really, really quiet. Okay. Really, really quiet. Next, take your mini USB cable, this comes free with the miner, and plug it into the mini USB socket here, on top of the miner. Take the USB end here, and plug this either into your computer, or into your USB hub. So I plugged it in. So download Zagdig Win USB driver installer. You can find the URL and the uh, um, information on the video. Double click. Click yes. Go options. List all devices. And find the CP2102 USB to UR bridge controller. That is the device name of our Rockminer new R box. So click that and click reinstall driver or install driver. This will come up saying installing driver. It may take uh, about two to three minutes. So just be patient. Uh, if it's successful, you will get this message. It says the driver was installed successfully. That's great. Close. X. Uh, download the latest version of CG Miner. You can either go to the CG Miner website or download it from the link in our, our video. Download the CG Miner and extract it to your chosen location. So I've extracted my one to uh, the desktop. Open the CG Miner folder. Look for the start mining.bat file. Right click, edit, and then here's the information for your miner. So we have cgminer.exe, don't change. Icarus options, you need to have this, don't change that. Dash O, put in the mining pool, 
and colon the port of your mining pool. So I'm using uh, stratum.btcguild.com colon 333. It's my mining port. Dash U, put in your mine, miner username. So your mining pool username. Uh, dash P, put in your mining pool worker password. And then finally at the end, we have the command dash dash rock dash frequency. This will control the speed of the miner. So you can set it anywhere from 280 to 350. If you set it to 350, this is the top speed. It's like overclocking it. So we're going to set it like that. So change your settings as you like. Click close and save. And now we're ready to start mining. Everything's all set up. So open the start mining.bat file. It will load CG miner. Wait a few seconds for it to detect the miner. Great, and it started mining now. Wow, so right off the bat we're getting a hundred giga hashes already. Let me just wait a few more minutes for it to, to properly uh, warm up. And you see this command here, accepted. That means it's accepting shares, and now it's mining Bitcoin. Excellent. So as you can see here, we're getting 129 giga hash already. So faster than the advertised speed. And we look at the miner here. We've got the status lights flashing to show it's accepting shares. And it's just so quiet. Probably one of the most quietest miners I've seen in a long time. And the design's lovely. Very easy to set up. Very nice. Yep, so we're getting 120 giga hash or 137 giga hash just then uh, on the 5 second average. The 1 minute, 5 minute, and 15 minute averages are um, incorrect at the moment. It hasn't been running long enough. So the longer you wait, the more accurate they will become. The average over here says 120 giga hash. An accepted share. That's lovely. You look down here 126, 120, uh, 300 megahertz. Temperature is very low, 38 Cs, 38 degrees, very low. So that's great, wow, it's happily hashing away. So I'm really happy with that speed, you know, 120, 130, it's really, really good speed. So thank you for watching and um, please go to our shop, www.iboot.com or to one of our eBay or Amazon stores and you can buy the new R box there already. And so it comes with a free cable, free USB mini cable, uh, six pin, PCI cable as well, so you can connect it to your own power supply, and we have all the things you need there. So if you want to get a hub or anything, um, just please visit. So thank you for watching and happy mining. Bye.